you really love it. There must be something special about a place you call home. There must be something special about a place where you spend the majority of your time. There must be something special about a place filled with the people you love. There must be something special here. Here, at this school, in this room, here is where that something special lives. And through our years here, we, the class of 2014, have grown to understand and appreciate what that something special really is. It is a feeling of belonging and of comfort, of challenge and of exceeding limits, of love and excitement and warmth. As we seniors walk through the halls of our school, this place, which we proudly call our second home, we experience that something special, that feeling, all over again. And we long for that feeling. We love it, and we miss it. At least, I do. I must have sung the song, Let It Go, from the movie Frozen, at least a million times during my last week of high school, hoping the more I sang the words, let it go, the easier it would be to actually do so. Let go of the place I feel so attached and drawn to. Let go of the home I've lived in for most of my life. Let go of the people I've spent almost every day with since I was four years old. Well, it turns out I was wrong. There is no possible way to let go of the place that has made such an impact, to forget and move on from a place, from an atmosphere, from a group of people that has been such a crucial and central part of our lives. Preschool, lower school, middle school, and high school, I refuse to forget you now. I am incapable of letting you go because you are a part of me, you are a part of us, and you have helped shape us into the people seated before you today. In Ellie Wiesel's book, Dawn, which most of us read in eighth grade, a boy named Alicia is presented with a life-changing decision. The story takes place between night and dawn, during which time Alicia is visited by the spirits of all the people he has ever encountered. He does not recognize everyone visiting him, but he does know that at some point in time, their paths had crossed. Alicia struggles to understand why all these people come to see him and concludes that they have contributed in some way to the formation of his identity. Alicia realizes that along with all other decisions he will ever make, this decision is inevitably influenced by everyone he has ever encountered. Every single person whom each of us has ever met at any point in our lives has played some role in shaping us into the people we are. Whether it be our parents, our friends, the man who rang up our groceries yesterday, or the lady who smiled at us as we walked past her last weekend. Each of those people has affected us somehow. While some have a greater influence than others, we are impacted by everyone we meet. And for that reason, everyone we encounter becomes a part of us, as they have helped shape us into the people we are today. This same idea is expressed in pure Kayabra which I will now explain in Hebrew and translate into English afterwards. Bifir Kayavot, Perek Dalet, Mishnah Aleph, Katuv, Ben Zom Ha'omer, Eidu Ukacham, Halomen Mikol Adam. Or Pinchas Kahati Mefaresh, Shekshe Ben Zom Ha'omer, Kol Adam, Hakavana Hakol Adam. Chacham hu mi shalomen mikulam, Michalak hu lomen ma ken lasot, hu michalak hu lomen ma lo lasot. חכם רואה את ההתנהגות והאופי של האנשים מסביבו, ובוחר אילו תכונות הוא יאמץ לעצמו כדי להרכיב את האישיות שלו. הוא בוחר מי הוא רוצה להיות ומהי הדמות האידיאלית בעיניו. כמו אלישע בספר של אלי ויזל, שהושפע על ידי כל האנשים שהוא נפגש, ככה החכם שפונה את עצמו להזדמנויות ללמוד מכל אדם, מכל האנשים מסביבו. In the first Mishnah of the fourth chapter of Pirkei Avot, Ben Zoma says, Ezo Chacham, who is the wise person? Halomen Mikol Adam, a person who learns from everyone. Rav Pinchas Kahati explains that when Ben Zoma says everyone, he literally means everyone. A wise person is someone who learns both from those who are greater than and those who are not as great as himself. A wise person is able to learn from everyone. From some, he learns what to do, and from others he learns what not to do. 
A wise person will learn from the example of all people around him and then choose which trait he wishes to take part of his own personality, deciding whom he does and does not want to be. Just like Alicia from Dawn, who was impacted by every person he ever encountered, a wise person is someone who lets himself be impacted by consciously learning from the strengths and weaknesses of all of those around him. As I look around the auditorium today, I see a room full of teachers, and I am not only referring to those who taught us in a classroom setting. I see a room full of people whom we learn from, who teach us, who have impacted us. I see a room full of people who have supported us every step of the way, and who are here today to show us that they will always support us. I see a room full of people who have helped shape us into the people we are, have helped us develop our own individual identities. As I look at my peers on stage, I see 33 of my siblings. I see a group that has stuck together through whatever has been thrown our way. I see 33 individuals who have made such an impact on me and on each other and have created such a unique and powerful group together. None of us would be on this stage before you today as the graduating class of 2014 had it not been for each and every person in this room. To our honored parents, teachers, rabbis, family members, and friends, we express our deepest gratitude for everything you have done to bring us to this day. You have been and will continue to always be our mentors and role models. You have taught us for so many years and will continue to teach us for so many more. You have made it clear that you will always be here for us, even when we are not physically together under the same roof of our beloved Melvin J. Berman Hebrew Academy. And for all of your love and support, we will be forever grateful. To those who we wish could be with us today, specifically Mr. Horn, Mr. Coburn, and Mrs. Stern, we acknowledge the impact you made on our lives the love and care each of you showed us, and we appreciate every moment we got to share with you. You are and will always be with us in our hearts, and we miss you. To my fellow graduates, I still have a hard time believing that I will not be waking up and seeing your faces every morning, singing in this lounge during lunch, and going home to a ton of homework, knowing that we would do it all again the next day. Y'all are such incredible individuals and will achieve such amazing things and reach such great heights. Always remember that just as so many people have impacted you, you have the ability to impact so many people. We have shined together as a group for so many years, and now it is time to go our separate ways. But we will always be part of each other, wherever we move on to, and we will never be able to let that go. As the song For Good from the Broadway musical Wicked goes, it well may be that we will never meet again in this lifetime. So let me say before we part, so much of me is made of what I learned from you. You'll be with me like a handprint on my heart. And now, whatever way our stories end, I know you have rewritten mine by being my friend. As we part, we are all still together and we will always be part of each other. So, to end as Elle Woods ended her graduation speech in Legally Blonde the Movie. <laughs> Congratulations, class of 2014. We did it! <laughs>